Hi, my name is Ruth. This is my Dodge Grand Caravan 2013. I love it. I just had it converted into a permanent full-time dwelling. Come and see it. I made the decision about a year ago that this is what I want to do. I want to live in my van. I don't want to spend my retirement years sitting in front of a TV or a YouTube. I want to live. And so I choose life. So six months ago, I retired from a nursing career. I'm done with that and I'm on to the next stage of my life, which is going to be wonderful and fabulous and I just love it. What was it like getting rid of your condo? Oh, that was a, a major headache. <laughs> it was a big job. I uh, sold my condo. I, it closed in one month. So I had to get nine years of accumulation of condo stuff out of there and downsize to live in my minivan. And believe me, it was a struggle. And uh, since then, I've gone through three purges and uh, still purging, but it's okay. So I decided I wanted to build out my van. Uh, the best part of this, I think, is my kitchen, because I love to cook. So let me just walk you through this beautiful kitchen I have. So I got my spices up here, and I've got my utensils in this little bucket here, which is good. I have a cupboard with all my food in it. It opens up on both sides. And a master builder built this for me. Um, I also have a stove, and also where I keep my pots and pans and my propane, it's lovely. Stove opens up. Uh, there was knobs installed here to turn on um, the propane for me. It's in there secure, but I can also remove it if I need to. It's beautiful. Now, one of the features that uh, this gentleman put in is this beautiful drawer here. He also made this cutting board for me. And inside here, I have my dishes, which is lovely. <laughs> that board is for things, if I'm cooking, I can sit things on there. It's quite nice and handy to have. I have a smaller chopping board that I can chop up vegetables and things. It's nice. Very nice. It also closes back up easily. And it has a lock on it with these really good locks, so it's not going to come out. I also have um, an ARB fridge, which is lovely. Stores all my food in it. Keeps it nice and cold. 12 volt. Takes very little, little power. It also slides out. there I have all kinds of storage and it runs all the way underneath uh, the uh, stove so I stored various things there that I need I also have my controller for my solar panel as well as um, I, I have a water pump uh, USB ports and a uh, a meter to show me how my battery is. And it's always full. This morning when I woke up, it was only one quarter down. And the face was happy. One thing is I have water. Yay! I have a pump, water pump. I have a hose here and I can pull it out and I can use it to shower or I can use it to wash my dishes. 
or wash the dog or spray the kitty and it's all good. It's all good, I love it. my bed and I love it. I'm short. I'm only five foot one. The bed is five foot six inches long from the pillows down to the bottom and it's quite comfortable. Lovely. I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I have a lovely fan here that brings in uh, air from both sides of the minivan of these windows that crack open about this much and sucks all the hot air out and I'm not yet I've sat here all day in the sun and it stays cool in here. It's absolutely wonderful. These are my drawers under my bed. It's wonderful. The guy did an absolutely fantastic job making them. As I say, he's a real craftsman. So this is a very deep drawer. I have clothing. I have extra pots and pans different things that I need and it's huge it comes all the way out and back in and of course locks these are the smaller drawers which also are very efficient come all the way out what's the space been like living in a minivan well it's a minivan so I mean it's mini but it's adequate um, I mean I also have a dog and a cat kitty's hiding under here right now oh god you gotta see this guys here's my toilet I can pull it out. Lift the lid. Have a seat, do my business. Close it up. There we go. And lock. So I wanna point out about the storage in a minivan. There is a lot of storage. Underneath the stove, as you saw, this flips up as well as well as the one under the toilet, which I can access. And I have a lot of storage. It goes all the way across the minivan. I just want to also point out my beautiful solar panel. It's um, about half, it's about uh, six feet long. It is 283 watts. It was uh, made by a company on Vancouver Island called Wego Pro. And it's very efficient. I also have a uh, 125 amp uh, sealed battery, a AGM battery, and I will never run out of power. She's adjusting. She's pooping in her litter box and everything. And she slept with me last night. She's a beautiful little girl. The thing I find that's super freaking cool about Ruth's build is none of this is bolted to the side of the van. And because she lives in like a family style, you know, minivan, um, anytime you have all those nice pretty plastic moldings and you start bolting stuff to it, now you're wrecking the core of what the van is. When John built this, yes, the same John that built the cabinets in my van, everything in here is bolted to the floor, meaning that that whole thing unbolted can slide right out. So she could sell the van as a standard minivan if she wanted to, or she could even sell that build if she was ever done with it to somebody else that they can just slide it right into their own van. And I think that's the raddest part about everything. Something else I find super cool is that her roof vent is right underneath there. You kind of can't see it. And think about this, that massive solar panel that covers the pretty much the entire roof of her van is her freaking shade. Meaning that that thing is gonna stay way cooler than my van would sitting out in the sun. That's why she said yesterday when she was sitting out in the sunshine, the windows, side windows popped out, pulling all that air through and the shade from the, from the solar panel. Money, that is a great idea. But I think how we built it, knowing that this is just bolted in there, that's it. And the whole thing, if she wanted to, could just slide right out. Taking a closer look here, you can see that John has fabricated a full frame for everything to be mounted to and all the brackets that bolt this to the vehicle itself. I think this is just a freaking genius idea for somebody that might wanna pull a build out later 
and not damage any of the pretty paneling that this van comes stock with. He also built custom brackets and stuff here that mount to the factory roof rack rails to mount all the solar and stuff. See, I think this is the difference when you get somebody to professionally build something. Um, you kind of get something a little bit more customizable. Doing a custom van build is always going to be more expensive than if you did like a DIY van and built it all yourself, but the end product is polished, professional, it looks good, all the wiring is safely done, and that is a massive part when it comes to doing your wiring for solar or any other kind of electronics because some of those things you don't want to tinker around with on your own. I would say leave that stuff to a professional, but not everybody has to build their van big and beautiful like this. Do it how you feel. Ruth, are you happy in your van? I am happy. Are you, gonna, are you excited for your journey and where it's going to go? You bet. Where are you heading off to next? Ontario. Ooh, when for do you leave? Summer. When do you leave? The whole summer? For the whole summer. Nice. All right, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys kind of learned something or got some ideas from it. And um, do you have anything they can follow you on for social media? That looks like a no. <laughs> not yet not I'm, yet but i'm working on it all right so if she happens to start something like an instagram i'll put it in the links down below if not if you have any questions for her and or the build put them in the comments of this video and i will try to make sure that john the guy that built that unit for her um, is active in the comments here and can answer any question you guys might have. I will also throw his links in the description as well. So if anybody's in the Vancouver or Vancouver Island area, you know, whatever. I'll leave them all down below. Ruth, thank you. All right, you guys. See you later.